Hey, everybody, let's summarize the kind of the, the many things that make Apache Iceberg unique among other table formats and why it's got such huge momentum of adoption um, over the last year. Okay, and if you want to learn more about sort of the adoption, I would recommend looking up the video on the state of the data lake house on the Dremio YouTube channel. But bottom line is you have unique features. So two of them are partition evolution and hidden evolution, which we've discussed in previous videos uh, here in these gnarly lesson time videos. But there's also something called compatibility mode. Really what it comes down to is that Apache Iceberg doesn't really care where the files are physically located because the metadata tracks the absolute location of the files. Okay. Now there is work to eventually be able to support relative file paths, but right now it supports absolute file paths, which has some very clear benefits. Okay. Cause generally the intention here is that you have one very large data set. So you're not intending to move it around, but you don't want to, you want to rewrite it as le least as possible. Okay. So then what happens is that if you had a really like, let's say petabyte scale hive table and you wanted to migrate it to Apache iceberg, you don't want to have to rewrite all those files. Um, so you should be able to just add references to those files to your metadata and it should work. But if you have a very large table on object storage, that's partitioned, if you use traditional sort of partitioning file structures, you might end up having lots of files under a single pre prefix. Okay. Prefix. Think of that as like a folder on object storage. It's not really like a traditional folder, but you can think of it as that, uh, for thought abstraction purposes. But basically what happens is that oftentimes there's a limit to how many requests per second can be to any objects, AKA a file within the same prefix, AKA folder. Okay. So if too many files within a certain folder are being at requested, it will slow it down. So oftentimes very large tables on a object storage based data lake could end to have really large partitions can find bottlenecks. So Apache iceberg solves this because again, it doesn't matter where the files are in. So you can then separate those partitions, not over just a single folder, but over a series of hashed folders. Um, and, you know, so basically in Apache spark, you can turn on the compatibility mode setting and it will, instead of writing it into a folder for each partition, it'll write, it'll create hashed folders, um, that will hold the files for that particular job or the particular new files. Okay. And you'll see something similar when you, when you write Apache iceberg tables with a tool like Dremio, uh, where if it's on object storage, so in this case, you don't even have to turn on the setting with a Dremio. If it's on object storage, it's going to automatically kind of take advantage of this versus if it's like on Hadoop, um, then, you know, it'll just use more traditional sort of partitioning. Because again, there's different pros and cons to how you do things on different file systems. So that's compatibility mode. Again, you have ex extensive read write support for Apache Iceberg, several tools that, and again, it's not just read write support, the ability to read the table and write the table, but also the ability to manage the tables. So a new space you're starting to really see with companies like Dremio, Tabular, Upsolver, Snowflake, and AWS getting into the space of table management. So this means being able to not just allow, give, you know, already with an iceberg, you have, the, you have tools and libraries to help you com do compaction, sorting, you know, management of your data files, but automating these, these, this, these management. So that way you don't have to think about it. And again, you have vendors like Dremio, Tabular and others who are providing these services. Okay. And that's something unique to Apache iceberg. I don't think there's more than one vendor that does that it for any other table format. There's data as code. Okay. And now with data as code, this could also be just thought of as like data ops, uh, get like versioning catalog versioning. Um, basically you do have versioning in Apache iceberg. And what's unique about Apache iceberg is that you actually have versioning at possibly two different layers. Okay. So with other formats, you really only have the ability to do file level versioning using a tool called Lake FS. Okay. And that's it. Now with Apache iceberg, you have table level versioning built in where basically you're able to create branches so that way you can do a branch of that individual table and tag it and all that stuff. And then if you use a Nessie best catalog and Nessie is a open source catalog built for Apache iceberg that allows you to do branching of the catalog. So it actually tracks commits of the cat, at the catalog level. So that way you can monitor and have observability of your catalogs, uh, changes, and then also be able to do branching tagging at the catalog level. So basically a multi table level to do things like multi-table transactions, multi-table rollbacks, multi-table tagging, uh, for easy replication of different things. So you get all these really benefits of like, get like features, 
um, again, either at the table level natively in Iceberg or if you're using Nessie Catalog at the catalog level. And again, Nessie is open source, so you can deploy your own uh, Nessie Catalog or you can use a tool like Dremio that actually has a integrated Nessie Catalog. Okay, and then again, just the openness of the project. So one, it's pretty easy to be involved and be keep an eye on the evolution of the project. There's a public mailing list, public um, <clears throat> uh, mailing list, public Slack, uh, public meetings. So generally all the discussion about the project is generally done in the open, unlike others where sometimes finding out where these discussions happening. I mean, there's every, every table format has a Slack channel, but oftentimes beyond that, it's a little bit more harder to kind of track down where things are happening. And so basically everything is very transparent and a lot of people participate. So you have companies like Netflix, Apple, Dremio, and more all participating in sort of the evolution of the project. And again, the benefit of this is that basically the evolution of the project isn't focused on the needs of one particular actor. It's focused on what sort of is going to benefit the most people at any given time, because again, everyone has to kind of have a consensus. This does mean like, you know, certain things move slower as far as like evolu of adopting certain features and changing certain aspects of the, the format. But this, again, that's a good thing because one, when something changes, it's well thought out and vetted. And two, it's not going to change so fast that you implement something and then it breaks your whole setup because it's changing so quickly. Okay. Um, and on top of it, you're going to, you get that certainty that there's always going to be a huge ecosystem because of that open atmosphere. So overall, lots of really good things that make Apache iceberg particularly special. Um, and then also there's just aspects of its design, which kind of hits that sweet spot between simplicity and complexity. So that way it's kind of easy enough to understand and you can see the benefit of it and understand what you're working with. Um, and it doesn't get overly complex just for marginal benefits. It tries to keep it sort of where basically you're, we can all kind of understand what the format is to get the most best use out of it. Because if something can be potentially faster, but it's super complicated, has a lot of knobs to turn, well, chances are you're not going to want to turn all those knobs, so you're not going to get that benefit. And if something is too simple, um, it might be really good for a particular use case, but it's not going to be as good for a general use case. And Apache Iceberg really balances out those sort of two extremes very, very well. So uh, that's, again, the reason why uh, Apache Iceberg is such a solid choice when it comes to be your base table format, the, your center of gravity for your data lake house. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later.